48 Dan Drew's Daily Destination showing us how paramedics save lives after a crash. This is pretty cool, an inside look at the hard work they do. Dan is live at a training exercise in Wheat Ridge to show us uh, what happens in those <laughs> crucial moments when EMTs and paramedics show up on scene at a crash, Dan. They have to go into kind of go mode, immediately use their training and get to work. Oh, absolutely. Here's a scary fact for you. You're waking up in the morning, having some Cheerios, but you know, odds are in your lifetime, your lifetime, you're going to get into a, cra a traffic accident, a crash. See, now, Richard, I say accident. There are no accidents. In other words, crashes, somebody did something they shouldn't have done. A collision is a preferred term instead of accident because it implies nobody's at fault if you say accident. That's right. Even insurance companies are changing that terminology. Now, we've got a, one stage behind us. This is not real. This is staged. We're in uh, Wheat Ridge, and, of course, we're with Rural Metro Ambulance. That's who you're with as well. Yeah. What's the purpose of this staging, this faux accident? Why are we doing this? We do this on a regular basis, and we do this to train like we're going to fight out there in the field. Because our crews are working long hours, it's a tiring job, we need to be able to go in and have the muscle memory in place. And for your guys to train, your guys and gals to train, you guys make these uh, accidents very, very realistic. Like, for example, listen to this. Does it hurt when I touch here? <laughs> Just take a deep breath. There you go, deep breath. And the whole point is is to make it very realistic for the men and women here, right? And very stressful because these scenes are emotionally stressful for everybody involved, especially when there are children, screaming, blood in the streets, those kind of things. And our responders have to be accustomed to that. Now, that being said, uh, chances are either we're going to be in, in an accident. Of course, we've already seen tons and tons of accidents driving around anyway. Yes. What are you doing when you, you pull up? We're not in an accident, but we see an accident <laughs> happen just before eyes. What should we do as, as motorists? The most important thing is your safety at that moment. So you want to keep driving, not stare at the accident, not turn your head, focus on the road ahead of you, be safe. If you can pull over and then call 911, stay in your vehicle, resist that temptation to pull people out of the road or even get out of your own car. You know, it's even scary. Hey, Brooke and Kirk, you know, it's even scary. You're driving down the road. I'm sure you guys have seen it as well. People with their smartphones, not so smart people with their smartphones. Doot -da, doot -da, doot -doot -doot. You wind up like that. Guys, we're going to toss it back to you. See you next hour with some more uh, information if you're involved in an accident. Incredibly realistic. Well, yeah, and it's but it's true. I mean, you got to train in that situation. You've got somebody screaming in the, in your ear. I mean, that's that's what they deal with. So. All right, right oh. now it's seven.